Hi, how are you? I'm Oscar Perez from Nube. I'm the Director of Operation for Latin America. And let's see what we are doing today. Um, oh, oh, no, this, okay. Uh, the main problem we face is the cargo theft, especially in Latin America and Mexico. So the way we are uh, focusing is different than the rest of the other companies today. They think that GPS only will prevent the, the, the theft of cargo or they will solve all the theft they are suffering today. What we do, or we did, is a, in, an intelligent lock that is inside the trailer or the container or uh, whatever box you want it to protect, okay? This lock is linked to a unit control and a GPS, of course, as well. The lock will open only in, in pre-authorized geo zone, okay? So when the unit or the container gets into the geo zone, the lock will be open. Otherwise, it won't. Okay. We are across multiple industry with, with this lock, which is uh, freight cargo, armored trucks, oil and gas, and last mile delivery, okay? And works pretty much the same. Every unit has to be into the geoson to, to allow to open, okay? We also do this for containers. Containers, you know, shipping containers. Uh, again, the log is inside the, the container. Now, what's happened if we have no single of G, signal of GC, uh, GMS from the cell phone, okay? This technology allows to open it by knocking the door in a code, okay? Like twice, then wait two seconds, another three, and then we'll open. All that information is saved on the, on the inside device, okay? The same principle works for containers. These containers are used pretty much for valuable goods like cell phones, iPads, things like that, okay? Those containers can travel into a plane, and again, when arrives to the geo zone is when will open, okay? We also develop the portable lock for those users that use different or third party trailers so they can attach to the trailer when they use and deattach when they end the use of, of that trailer. We can expand the technology, okay? to different things like cameras, sensors, smart pallets, et cetera. Okay, for instance, this. We create a virtual perimeter across the, let's say, the, the trailer, okay? So you install a sensor in every box or every pallet, depends on you. When that sensor goes away across the perimeter, we will send an alert. So that way, you not only protect the trailer, but also your car. Oops, that's too fast. Okay, all that information, alerts, configuration, and so we, we have our web service application and as well as the mobile application. Okay, that's it. Now, question for the, from the judges. Where can, are they? Can, we're here on the front. Okay. <laughs> can you comment a little bit about your pricing model for this and um, for the hardware pieces as well as the software uh, application? Sure. One of the customers we have is Walmart in Mexico. Okay. They have the locks and the camera. So when every time the, the door is open, the camera starts shooting photos. Uh, the cost for them is just $30 per month. No upfront payment in a contract of whatever, three or five years. So $30 per month per device. Per device, yeah, yeah. Okay. that's right. And who do you see as your competition today? Because there's a lot of people coming up with these types of products. Yeah, well, you know, what we have found is most of the locks are from the outside of the trailers or the containers. Ours is inside. so. Against that, I, I actually don't have anyone like this. 
from inside, okay? Actually, well, I don't know if you know something about at least Mexico, but uh, the, the thief is really hard there, actually. Sometimes on the customer that they cannot open the, the, the container, whatever, the tanker, because we also work with some oil transports, uh, they, they make a hole in the, in the trailer to start getting the, the product, and then they seal it with uh, fiberglass. That and on your knocking system, have you gotten a lot of false alerts on that with, through knocks and pings? No, really. Actually, it's, it's very uh, accurate, the, the, the program. So, well, sometimes it depends on how much seconds you count between knocking once and, and the second knocking. But it's you know, very reliable. I know there's a lot of cargo theft in Latin America. Can you talk about the size of the market? The, the what? Size of the market. The size of the market, well... Your addressable it, market. Is, is really big. Right, actually, for instance, right now we have over 100 customers and the, the loss in Mexico because of this is about $9 billion. Okay, great. And then can you talk a little bit more about your team and your, your background and why you decided to build this? Yeah, well, uh, this company is based in, in Austin, Texas, and we have direct operations in Mexico. Uh, all the programmers, actually, some of the programmers are in, in Asia, uh, but all the technology is right here, and we have direct support now in, in Mexico. Now, we have a, a reseller, a big company, Oceanary, which is based in Houston, Texas, and they have presence in almost all over the world. Why with oceaneering? Sorry, because we start with the last mile of petroleum, protecting the the, the tankers. So how, like, uh, maybe it's a dumb question, but on the smaller stuff that you're locking, right? What's it? I mean, are, are can people just take the thing anyway? No, no, because all the devices are from the inside of the container. Okay, let's see a trailer. A uh, standard tray where, where you open the, do the doors like slide door. There's no, way to break There's no way to break it. There's no way. Actually, in the in the tankers, for instance, the, the oil tankers, they have on the on the side of the tanker uh, a small box where they protect the bolts to to discharge unload the, all the cargo. So and this is from steel, and they cannot. Actually, we have some issues with. It some operators because they cannot open it from, from there. How many units do you have deployed? About 4,000 units in Mexico, mainly. That's great. Thank you very much. Thank you.